Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve question number third. In question number third, you have to find the smallest number by which each of the following numbers must be multiplied to obtain a perfect cube. We know that a number is a perfect cube when its factor r in a group of three. Uh, let's uh, see what that actually means. First of all, we have to prime factorize this number, which is 243. Uh, when divided by 3, it is 81. Again by 3, it is 27. 3, it is 9. 3, 3, and 3, 1. So, uh, when we see here, there is a group of 3, and in this group, one 3 is missing. So. we want to make this a perfect cube in that case we must have a group of 3 means another there is one group of 3 and in another one term or one number is missing to become or to have a group of 3 number so we must have a another number 3 to complete this group so in this case we have to multiply this number by 3 to make it a perfect cube number similarly when we do the prime factorization of 256 it is 256 when divided by 2 it is 1 2 8 it is 264 it is 232 it is 2 16 it is 28 It is two four, and this is two and two. In this case also, we have one group of three numbers and two group of three numbers, and in the last, we have one two missing to become a perfect cube. So in this case, we have to multiply this with two to make it a perfect cube. In this case, we have to multiply it with three. Again, when do when we do the prime factorization of seventy two. It is two three six two eight. It is three uh, six. It is three two, and it is two one. In this case, uh, when we write it as two into two into two into three into three, uh, this two we write in the first. So we have one group of three numbers, but here one. Number is missing, so to make it a group of three, we have to multiply this with three to make it a perfect cube. Same case with this. This can be multiplied, or this can be written as this. Uh, uh, this I am saying because I have done the prime factorization of this as in this case. So here we have a group of three, but in this case. We are missing two fives, so to make it a perfect cube, we have to multiply this with twenty-five. In this case also, this can be written as ten into ten, and to make it a perfect cube, we must have another ten. Or you can say, when this number is multiplied by ten, we will give a perfect cube number. Thank you.